What would you give up to feel truly connected to someone? In things have gotten worse since we last spoke and other misfortunes. Eric LaRocca pulls readers into a world where desperation and obsession cross boundaries, creating terrifying consequences. Join us as we explore this chilling collection of stories that leave a lasting mark on the reader's psyche. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the unsettling and unforgettable things have gotten worse since we last spoke and other misfortunes by Eric LaRocca. LaRocca has quickly made a name in the horror genre for crafting psychologically intense stories that stay with you long after you've closed the book. Known for his unique blend of horror, tragedy, and psychological depth, LaRocca's work explores the darker side of human connection. Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke and Other Misfortunes is a collection of three stories, each exploring themes of isolation, obsession, and the often terrifying lengths people will go to connect with others. This book is best suited for readers who enjoy psychological horror, dark fiction, and narratives that provoke as much as they unsettle. Let's dive into the first story, which shares the book's title, and explore the complex characters and plot twists that make this collection so memorable. The collection's titular story centers on an online exchange between two women that begins innocently enough but quickly spirals into a psychological horror. At the beginning, we're introduced to Zoe and Agnes, who meet on an internet forum for LGBTQ individuals. Zoe, struggling with loneliness and emotional instability, puts a valuable heirloom up for sale, which catches Agnes's interest. As the story progresses, their messages become darker and more obsessive. Zoe's longing for validation and Agnes's manipulation create an increasingly disturbing relationship. The narrative captures this unsettling dynamic, leading to a shocking climax that reveals the horrifying cost of their twisted attachment. Story 2. The Enchantment. In The Enchantment, LaRocca takes a different turn, telling the story of a married couple whose idyllic life begins to unravel after they take in a stranger. This guest, seemingly innocent at first, brings with them a sense of unease that permeates the household. The story explores how outside influences can stir hidden fears and desires, turning their once happy lives into a nightmare. Story 3. You'll find it's like that all over. The final story in the collection, You'll find it's like that all over, is perhaps the most unsettling in its subtlety. In this narrative, a friendly wager between two neighbors reveals the dark nature of competition and pride. This story is marked by an eerie tension, showing how even seemingly harmless games can escalate into acts of cruelty. Each story in the collection adds another layer to LaRocca's exploration of human nature, creating a cohesive yet diverse examination of what happens when desire, desperation, and darkness collide. Zoe, from things have gotten worse since we last spoke. Zoe is a lonely woman whose desire for connection makes her vulnerable. As her correspondence with Agnes deepens, Zoe reveals a disturbing side, willing to sacrifice her own dignity for the illusion of companionship. Her character is both tragic and unsettling, illustrating the lengths to which people will go to fill an emotional void. Agnes, from things have gotten worse since we last spoke, Agnes is manipulative and cold, drawn to Zoe's vulnerability. Her actions reveal a lack of empathy, showcasing how easily people can exploit others for their own satisfaction. Agnes's character development is a chilling portrayal of manipulation, and her impact on Zoe's life is both shocking and devastating. The married couple, from the enchantment in the second story, the unnamed couple serves as symbols of stability and love that slowly unravel. Their vulnerability to outside influence demonstrates how relationships can deteriorate under pressure, especially when unresolved fears come to the surface. Each character in LaRocca's story serves a distinct purpose, showcasing the complexities of human psychology and the horror that can arise from emotional vulnerabilities and manipulation. LaRocca's stories delve into several recurring themes that challenge the reader's understanding of morality and connection. Isolation and Desperation A major theme in the collection is the human need for connection and how isolation can drive people to dark places. Each story explores this theme showing how people can lose their sense of self in their desperate attempts to bond with others. Power and Manipulation Another prominent theme is the way individuals exploit one another. In Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke, Agnes's manipulation of Zoe is a stark portrayal of power dynamics in relationships. This theme also appears in You'll Find It's Like That All Over, where a seemingly innocent bet reveals a hidden cruelty. Obsession and Boundaries LaRocca's work questions where boundaries should be drawn in relationships. The unhealthy, obsessive dynamics in these stories serve as a cautionary tale about crossing personal boundaries in search of validation or control. LaRocca's exploration of these themes makes the collection thought-provoking, 
encouraging readers to consider the darker side of human connection and the hidden dangers of emotional dependency. Several quotes in Laraka's stories are haunting, encapsulating the tone of the collection. Here are a few that stand out. What have you done today to deserve your eyes? This chilling line captures the way Laraka's stories challenge characters and readers to confront their actions and the consequences they bring. In the end, we are what we do to others. This quote underlines the theme of manipulation, showing that people's true selves are often revealed through their treatment of others. Loneliness is a hunger no one else can feed. This powerful line speaks to the core of Zoe's desperation, underscoring the theme of isolation that runs through the collection. These quotes provide insight into the psychological depth of Laraka's writing, leaving readers to ponder their own emotional needs and boundaries. In Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke and Other Misfortunes, Eric Laraka crafts a disturbing yet thought-provoking narrative that examines the darker aspects of human relationships. His stories serve as both cautionary tales and explorations of the human psyche, showing the consequences of unchecked desire and the horror that can arise from emotional dependence. This collection has garnered critical acclaim for its psychological depth and ability to unsettle. If you're drawn to stories that challenge conventional horror and delve into the emotional shadows of human connection, this is a must-read. Things have gotten worse since we last spoke and other misfortunes leaves readers questioning the lengths we go to fill our emotional voids and the risks we take in pursuit of connection. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this summary, be sure to like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments if there are any other books you'd like us to cover. Until next time, stay curious, and maybe a little cautious about those you let in.